Hello, today I'm going to be talking about some foot pedals for the Electric Eel Wheel 6. The Electric Eel Wheel 6 today comes with this foot pedal, and it's not too big, it's not too heavy either. Uh, it's really durable, it's an industrial style foot switch. It actually is, uh, it has a really good tactile feel, especially with the foot and sort of that noise it makes when it closes, like you can see. It has a spring in it, and I'll actually take it apart in a little bit and sort of show you. And it's got a little bit of spring there, and then there's this click when it goes down, and that's sort of when it will stop the electric eel wheel six. So uh, this is the foot switch I've been using for the electric eel wheel four, five, and six, and I'm really happy with it. I think in general I hear a lot of good things about it. But one of the users that I have pointed me to this little foot switch. So this is actually, I love the simplicity of this design. So it's basically some spring metal and there's just these two little layers of uh, thin steel. And when you press it down, it completes the contact. And this works great for the electric EO wheel six. I'll include a link to Amazon where you can purchase this if people are interested in it. And I'm actually looking to see what people think of this foot switch. I'm sure that I could have this manufactured less expensively in bulk than my other foot switch. And there are certainly advantages and disadvantages of this. And I'm sort of asking the community, I'll include a poll in the uh, video description that you can fill out and sort of say whether you like this one or the other one. So that's what I'm, I'm sort of asking for. So you can sort of see that... Uh, this is much smaller here. Let me get the other one. So uh, it's a little bit longer, you can see, but it's much thinner. It's also much lighter. It would be much easier to transport. I actually like how this one uh, works with my hands. Here, let me show you a few different setups. So I've got the two foot pedals here next to each other. As you can see, this one's going to be much more transportable. That's a big advantage of this. If, if you can sort of see, I think if you're using them with your hands, I actually like this one a little better. Here, I'll show you with the hand here. It's a little bit, I mean, there's a, this, this foot switch has, a, you need to push it fairly hard with your hand in order to activate it, uh, which is actually good for your foot. I actually like this one a little bit more with my foot. But if I'm barefoot, then I, again, kind of like this one. Uh, but uh, so this one has more, much more tactile feel because there's more motion and then there's this loud click noise. Whereas if I plug in the other foot switch, this one's a, a lot easier to push. I can easily do it with just one finger. There's a little clicking noise just from where the metal plates but you can actually get rid of that. So if you don't like the loud clicking noise, uh, that would be another advantage. If you do like the cloud clicking noise, then sort of this original one uh, is a little bit better. Uh, I think with a shoe on, this one is significantly nicer, because mostly because of the, the click that you get. With this one, uh, I, I, it was, I mean, it certainly worked. I mean, you just stomp on it and you stomp on it again and it just works. So, you know, you just put your foot on it and it works well, but um, it's harder to tell that you've actually stepped on it. But with your, if you take off your shoes, if you spin with just socks or bare feet, then again, I kind of like the feel of this one. It was a little flatter on the floor. So now if you have this foot switch and you're looking to make it uh, a little bit easier to push. Generally, you want to do that if you're triggering it with your hand. Uh, there's a simple modification, and all you need is a Phillips screwdriver like this. And in order to make this modification, there's two screws in the bottom on the plate. You just take those out, and there's one. Here's the second one. And that gives you access to a third screw. And this screw is holding this pin in place, this metal pin. So we take that out. And then with your Phillips screwdriver, you can just start pushing this pin through. And once you've got it out a little bit, I kind of hold the pedal together and pull the pin the rest of the way out like that. 
and inside uh, this is the switch that activates it. You could actually make a little your own little housing and uh, put this switch, you know, in some other kind of a button if you want. But what I'm doing here is I'm just taking off the spring, and then you put this back together without the spring in it, and you'd put these three screws back in. But it doesn't go up as far now. It just sort of rests on the uh, button inside so it doesn't you don't press it down as far but it's also much easier to push down because uh, this spring has been removed so uh, that's a pretty easy modification really what I want to find out from this video is what people think of this switch uh, that I've, I showed you in the beginning versus this foot switch that I'm currently shipping now all of the current electric eel wheel sixes will keep shipping with the uh, foot switch that I've been using but I'd be really interested in what the community would think of uh, potentially going to this kind of a switch. Uh, I could get, you know, a little cool logo of the electric eel wheel there. And uh, I definitely do a lot more testing with it. But, you know, just from initial looks, what do people think of uh, going to, uh, you know, a, a smaller, uh, simpler switch for your foot or your hand that looks like this? Please fill out the poll. And thanks for watching.